it's really important to to maintain some kind of utopia because I think it's really important driving power in what we do as humans to like dream insanely big dreams that we might somewhere know like is never going to be accomplished but nonetheless dream them because like if we don't dream something that's all the way out there then we might reach halfway but that will already be like moving away from where we are right now and progressing towards something but if we're just going to say now nah, that's never going to happen then we're not going to move anywhere then mm -hmm. we're going to stick with whatever status quo that we have right now and I think that there are certain things that you can carry out as direct examples in in your life and then there are certain things that that needs more uh, uh, we need to work with a collective consciousness that we use a term such as art and artist I to a certain extent find problematic that that has become like such an established way of like it's an e easy semantic way of saying like well what do you do oh well i do art oh then i'm an artist but what do i actually do what do i create in like in a conversation in a social relationship when defining myself as such with those terms because the artist has true history been like put on this this strange pedestal as being something special which i don't necessarily see it as such like often I still think, fuck, right? Like you can't live in it, you can't eat it, you're just not really supposed to touch it. And it's like, on one hand, you couldn't imagine a, a human culture without like art in its many different forms. But at the same time, like often I think like maybe I should just go and build drywalls. Maybe we need more of those. <laughs>